Hello my good people, welcome to my channel. My name is Lily and today I'm going to be talking about Gemini. I listened to Illuminate and immediately like just died. The minute I finished it I went and filmed a review so I'll have that linked around here somewhere if you want to watch it. And because I was very smart I checked out Gemini at the same time as Illuminate so I finished it and then I started on the second one. And I even took nice rainbow notes so that I could remember important things. So I am so prepared to tell you all about Gemini in this spoiler-free section of the video. And then we'll go into spoilers a little bit later. So stick around. Gemini is the sequel. I think there are going to be three books and the third one is on the way. So Gemini is the second book in the Illuminae files. And Illuminae is pretty much this space adventure and it's told in a really cool format which I'm sure you've heard about already if you've heard anything about this. It's not just words, it's files and it's pictures and it's cartoons and animations and just like a really creative book. So far out of the two, Illuminate has been my favorite but this one was good too. The only thing about this one is that it took me a long time to get used to it because Illuminate has this one cast of characters and then Gemina, I thought it was just going to be a continuation of the story, but then they're like, haha, nope, we're giving you all new characters for this one. And so that was annoying. But you grow to like them. Cool things are still happening, so it's not that big of a deal that your life has just been flipped upside down and everything you thought you knew isn't what you knew at all. It's not as dramatic as that, it's just different characters. So Gemini is good, and even though they're not the same characters as the first book, you still grow to love them. Or at least I did. You may not, and that's okay. This book is cool because the illustration style is very different from Illuminate. The illustrations in Illuminate are a lot more computery and these ones are more doodly, so that's fun. If you've already read Illuminate and you liked it, for sure read this. If you've already read Illuminate and you didn't like it very much, probably don't spend your time on this. It's the same thing, only I prefer Illuminate just slightly more. But since Illuminate was a 5 star rating, this being slightly less than that is not bad at all. That's all I'm gonna say. I recommend not knowing much about this entire series if you're new to it. It's fun not to know much. I didn't know what the heck it was about, but then it was awesome. Oh, I almost started talking about spoilers without mentioning the audiobook. Hey. In my opinion, the experience of reading this book is not complete unless you have also listened to the audiobook. The audiobook is so good for so many reasons. It's an entire cast of characters, each doing a different voice, so it's not just like one person sometimes acting like a girl and sometimes acting like a guy. So it's a lot more believable and immersive and there's sound effects, people with accents, and just all sorts of good stuff. But I know what you're thinking. Lily, I can't do that. You said there's illustrations in here. Well then, just get both. <laughs> that may not be the most practical thing that one could do, but I got mine at the library. So if you have a library and they have these, do it. What I would do is listen to the audiobook and then read along every now and then, just kind of like flip through and see what illustrations I missed. Just for fun, because they're really easy to look at, but also sometimes they would provide a little more insight because I was slightly more confused by this book just because I wasn't able to listen to it as intently as I did with Illuminate. With Illuminate, I was able to just sit and listen and listen. But with Gemini, I was like moving around more, so I would get distracted more easily. It was good to come back to the book and like refresh myself like, oh yeah, that's right, this is happening. Good. So that's going to be all for the no spoiler section. I really hope you enjoy Gemini once you read it. I love these books so much because there's like a million different things going on and then at some point, it all just kind of converges, and you're like, whoa. So read the book, read the audiobook, do yourself a favor. Please be sure to let me know your thoughts on Illuminae if you've read it already, and like the video before you go. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And now we go to spoilers. Hello, this is spoilers out in the field. Looks a lot like the studio. 
so this is awkward. Welcome to the spoiler section of the video, as I've probably said like five times already, but I just like to make sure that you know what you're getting into here. This book is super heavy. So let's start off with the important stuff, illustrations. Did I say that I prefer the Illuminae illustrations? Because I do. Overall, I just like the style of the illustrations in Illuminae better because they're more like industrial. And these ones are very doodly, which is fun. But I feel like it's sort of out of place with the theme of the book. Like it's good stuff, but I did prefer the Illuminae illustrations. I still have a favorite one in this book though, and I'll show you what it is. This was one of my favorite illustrations just because it has an industrial sort of feel. I think that's the only reason. It's really cool how they're describing someone crawling through a tunnel and they put it like on top of a tunnel. I appreciate that. Oh, I just found marked another page that I really liked. When they start turning upside down and sideways and stuff, when things are like spiraling out of control. So to speak of the actual story, Jackson, Hannah, Nick, love triangle. That was kind of crazy. In the audiobook, Jackson, was so snooty. He has an English accent, which I'm not sure if that's mentioned in the book or what. He just sounds like, Hannah, my precious flower, are you safe? Have you brushed your hair today? I'm worried about the condition of your hair. He never said that, but that's the kind of stuff that he seemed to care about. And at first I did not like Nick because what it seemed like was that Hannah was in a happy relationship and then Nick was just like, hey girl, you wanna dump that guy or what? I don't know when, and I don't know why, and I don't know how, but he changed at some point. And I'm going to have to credit my acceptance for that to the audiobook, because if I was reading that, if I was reading his character progression, I wouldn't have changed the way he spoke or the meaning behind his words. I would just like get my initial impression of him and then keep reading that way throughout the entire book. So like when it got to the point where Nick and Hannah were a thing, I would probably be like, nah, -uh, he's still annoying. But the audiobook changed him. He would speak in different tones of voice and he wasn't necessarily saying new things, which is why I definitely think that I would be confused from the book, but the way that he was saying it, he was changing. And so I think that's why I accepted it. And they were a good pair at the end. The theme of this book was very interesting. I wasn't sure about Gemini at first because it had so much more of a teenager -y vibe. Illuminate felt more like an adult world with teenager -y humor here and there. But then Gemini all of a sudden was like a teenager -y world and teenager -y humor. It was a little harder to take seriously. I liked how Illuminate was more of a serious Thing. And I still don't understand why narcotics were the big theme in Gemini. It's probably going to have some big impact in the third book. Or maybe they started to explain it and I didn't catch it. It wasn't really a story element that I could really grasp onto. I think there's a lot of other things that you could use to move a story along. I think I would have liked it more if they were fighting it. On to the next item of business. It takes 504 pages for Katie Grant to even be mentioned. That's a lot of pages, especially for someone who thought that she was gonna be on page one. And I think it took like 108, yeah, it took 108 pages to mention Katie's father. And that was the first indication that this book had anything to do with Illuminae at all. But after getting through the first part with the new characters and the new theme and stuff, when it started to go back to the Illuminae style, I was very excited. And things got real crazy. My favorite moment was when Hannah was talking to Jackson and she had suspicions that he was undercover. She's like, Jackson, I'm so tired. And he's like, that's okay, just turn yourself in. I've been telling you this for like 10 years now, but I'm just so tired. And then it starts saying like, Katie grabs a ladder. I'm really, really tired. She starts scaling the ladder. I just want to lay down. She starts, like, placing bombs. Like, she's saying one thing and she's doing something completely opposite. It's so great. That was my favorite part. My second favorite part was when Hannah's talking to Katie Grant and she's like, I just watched Nick die. I'm so sad. 
And then Katie's like, okay, well, we're going to have to ask you to confirm your identity because we've got this guy named Nick over here saying he just watched you die. So something's not quite right. And then it was parallel universes because I was so sad when she thought that Nick actually was dead. I love how these books do tragic things, but then they do them in a way that they can fix them. I love quantum mechanics. And I was so excited when Aiden was finally reintroduced too. And guess what? My favorite line was said by him, and I'll read it to you now. He says, The concept of fortune is nonsensical, but Katie is insisting I wish you both good luck anyway. So good luck, Hannah Donnelly. The universe itself depends on you. No pressure. Classic Aiden. I'm really excited for the third book to come out. It's gonna be so long though. Like months and months. This is why I never read books when they come out. Thank you very much for watching and staying until the end of the video. And if you have any thoughts on Gemini that you would like to share with the class, please feel free to comment. And be sure to like and subscribe before you leave too. When the third book comes out, I'll be here. And until then, I hope this video does something for your life. Bye.